what awaits me is a very unique experience a visit into the core of a nuclear reactor the latest and the most sophisticated nuclear reactor of india we are not allowed to show the exterior of this building else the location be disclosed this sunny glow reflects the mood at india's newest reactor all that you see has been mastered indigenously by scientists often against great odds like international sanctions this is an experimental reactor that may hold the answer to india's chronic electricity shortage currently all power reactors need uranium of which india produces very little and cannot import enough of so the department of atomic energy is banking on this thorium in its raw form it's available in abundance on the beaches of kerala india has a third of the world's known reserves after refining it is turned into these pellets these are then enclosed into special steel tubes to make them into fuel bundles that power a reactor and that's where the new reactor comes into the picture scientists are using it to find out how the thorium behaves further ensuring that every ounce of energy is squeezed out of uranium and thorium data from this new reactor will be used for building a super safe thorium reactor that the country hopes to build in the next 5 years if everything works out as planned there could be a huge network of thorium based reactors that could satiate india's energy needs for the next 250 years ndtv was allowed to visit this unique atomic laboratory nearly a few days after it became fully operational or as nuclear scientists say went critical it was also the atomic department chief's first visit the usually reserved anil kakodkar was clearly overjoyed and he told me that uh, the level at which criticality was reached was so at, so close to the prediction so it is embarrassingly close <laughs> <laughs> indian scientists should obviously be happy with this achievement but joining them in the celebration and applauding this achievement is also the global nuclear community harold mcfarlane a former president of the american nuclear society told ndtv that he expects that this would be the best facility in the world to obtain benchmark data for thorium powered reactors and it can be a wonderful research tool for training new generations of scientists so why is this reactor generating so much excitement because it's only for experiments it generates very little power barely enough to light a single bulb unlike most other research reactors This facility is unique as the entire nuclear fuel itself can be modified or replaced on demand. To help understand the nuclear chain reaction in a thorium environment, the reactor has been designed so that scientists can enter the facility to conduct experiments at will. There's supposed to be no radioactive threat to humans. Nevertheless, there are precautions. like this massive door and safety tests once we are inside a quick check shows there is zero radioactivity this new facility is the real test bed for assessing all future nuclear fuels of india not just thorium actually you ought to have been here who would know more about future nuclear fuels more than vk raina a nuclear engineer for the last 38 years then we how many people are doing anything with thorium in the world well uh, right away i don't think too many countries have too many compulsions to look at thorium very seriously but given the fact that india has very limited resources of uranium available so we have an urgent need to look at thorium and we are seriously looking at thorium and that's why so is is thorium the solution for 
long term energy energy security yes, for india if we are looking uh, in time frames of 100 years or 150 years or 200 years certainly thorium will have a great great role to play in the energy well, security within 50 years is too far why worry about it just now exactly that is the point if you look at various density energy sources look at the availability of hydrocarbon based fuels if you see at the current rate of consumption hmm. Maybe we don't have more than 75 to 100 years. Mm. Beyond that, we have to go for sources which are available to us. And thorium is one major source from which we can tap energy. Mm -hmm. And it's one of its kind in India? It is, yes. It is, certainly it is. Why? It is one of its kind in the world also. One source for India's hunger for uranium would have been the international market. But for India, as of now, it is a forbidden fruit. So, as the Indo-US civilian nuclear deal makes little or no progress, the only sustainable option is right here. I am standing right on top of India's finest and latest nuclear reactors. This is the place where India will test its future fuel thorium. Deep inside India's nuclear weapons lab, the Bhava Atomic Research Center, with camera person Ranjit Viswas. This is Pallav Bagla reporting for NDTV.